Hey, what's up everybody? Today I'm going to be testing three different hammers on two different 12 inch steel stakes. This is just your standard stake you'll get with a lot of tents. And here is a sand and snow stake. Uh, it's basically a wedge stake. It's uh, a little more difficult to get into the ground than this. So we'll have two different types of stakes and three different hammers and we'll see how they all perform. I'll start with the B4 hammer. I've had this for about two years. What I like about it is the little claw feature to help get these types of stakes out. A lot of them have different hooking mechanisms uh, to help get them out, which these two do not. Uh, I've had this for about two years. The other feature I like is the handle. Um, it's pretty easy to grip and a little easier than those two to make sure you're accurate, even though the head is smaller. So we'll see how this goes. I'm probably going like 60%, just making sure I hit it. And I'm just going to leave it in there so I can get it out a little easier. And we'll try the sand and snow steak. going a little harder on this and it's much harder to get in. Alright, so that was a little more tiring than this one. The rubber mallet, this is a 32 ounce or 2 pound tecton rubber mallet. It's fairly good on these types of stakes because they have a flat head. But these will definitely tear into it after a while. They have like kind of a sharp edge after a while of using them. So it's really going to tear apart rubber mallets as you can see. I've had this, I've used this less than this hammer. So, I don't know, this isn't an exact science, but I would say that was a little easier than getting this one in. This one's getting a little difficult. Alright, I think it's about even. Maybe this is a little higher still, but this is, it's going to just keep tearing into this, so I'm going to stop there. And this is a three pound little sledge. Fairly new, so it's a little smooth on this side, but I've tried to rough it up a little bit. Uh, that was pretty difficult actually. Um, I find that this slides off it really easily compared to the other ones. So even though I'm hitting it, I feel like I'm losing some of the power um, just from it kind of gliding off. It's a little tiring after a while. <laughs> um, yeah, I think this is probably the hardest one to use, even though it's heavier. Um, it just doesn't have as much leverage and it's also a little more difficult to be accurate on it. And now that they're all in here, the hard part is actually getting them out. One option is to get a hammer that has a claw like that. Another option is if you're using these, 
you can actually fit them through their own little hoop. And obviously I got this in the way, but you can just kind of rotate it back and forth. It comes out fairly easily. You're not really going to be able to do that, obviously, with this. It's going to be hard to get leverage there. So that's where this comes in. Takes a little bit of uh, takes a little bit of brute force there, um, but nothing the average adult can't handle. These are a lot easier. You can kind of start by rotating them back and forth, and they come out much easier. And sometimes. They don't come out. So what I do is just kind of hit it around it. Whew. And there you go. So obviously, these are a bit overkill in many situations. And they're not really meant for this type of terrain, which is why they're a lot more difficult to get out. I find these stakes to be much more practical for about like 80% of situations. So if you don't have these, I'd recommend getting them. So default to this, bring these in certain circumstances. If you have any questions, feel free to comment or send me a message. Cheers. Ah, oh, fuck.